Hey you guys! How are you guys doing? Good, that's good. We're back in Tinkercad. Uh, okay. Today, if you saw the thumbnail, um, this might be a little strange, but it's something that I need, and you never know if you might need it someday, or something like it. So we are making a shell scoop or a shark tooth hunting scoop. So, you know, if you go on vacation or if you go along the beach and they they sell these uh, like shell scoops, basically, sh seashell scoops. And it's just like a, a long handle with like a metal basket on it. And you can out of the surf if you see a good shell or you can take random scoops out of the surf to look for seashells or grab the ones that you see rolling in the in the waves. But they're like, oh gosh, now they're probably like 40 something dollars when you go buy one down there. So, uh, and what I like to do down, oh, because I'm going to be going to Florida in January and I live in Wisconsin. So going to the ocean is a big deal for me. And I like to look for stuff. So um, one thing I like to do along the ocean is look for uh, shark teeth. So like down in the Gulf the lower Gulf side of Florida, you could find fossil shark teeth, uh, but you need a good scooper. It definitely helps anyway. So uh, last time I was there, I flew down and I actually bought two scoops, one for myself and one for my daughter. And they were like 35 bucks each and we didn't have room to bring them back uh, in our luggage or anything. So I just gave them to a family. The last day we were there, I just gave them away. <laughs> Uh, this time we're driving down, and we are now Tinker Experts. I didn't even have a 3D printer back then. Um, so we can easily print ourselves a shark tooth scooper. Okay, was that enough explanation? <clears throat> and I have actually produced a lot of different scoopers. I have probably 3D printed and de designed and printed more different 3D printed scoops than any other human. Uh, I don't know why. I am a little bit obsessed with scoops. so Because I do metal detecting, arrowhead hunting, gold prospecting. And all these things help having different scoops. Especially metal detecting, I got sand scoops. I got scoops for sinker hunting. I wish I had a handy picture. I was trying to find a picture to show you guys the, the scale of my of my uh, printed scoop collection. It's funny. But I do not have one that's perfectly de designed for scooping shark teeth out of the ocean. So that is what we're going to do. Wow, I talk a lot. Three minutes of talking. <laughs> okay, let's do 210 by 210 because I'm hoping it'll fit on the... Yeah, I mean, this will fit, but I just hope it's it'll be big enough. Um, I want to print it on the high speed printer. I'm so spoiled. Once you once you start using a high speed printer, you don't want to use a normal speed one. <clears throat> okay. Honestly, this is like the exact shape I want the scoop. And I'll explain the basic uh shape of it. This should be pretty easy for us because we're so awesome. Okay, so we're gonna we're going to need a post. Um, let's see. Um, okay, let's do, so I'm going to make the whole of the post, okay, 30 by 30. The handle, the handle that I want to put in it is actually 28 wide, but I'm going to make it bigger so I can silicone it in, um, because you want to give it a little a little bit of leeway to stretch to expand because the wood will expand when it gets wet so and that'll just compress the silicone um, and it won't crack the plastic so you want a kind of loose fit if you're using wood in a 3d printed scoop in water and most people wouldn't know that but I've cracked plenty of them and I learned to make them make the hole a little bigger okay anyway Okay, so 30 by 30, this is going to be the size of the of the hole. 
Uh, we want it nice and sturdy. So let's go 40 by 40. We want it strong. Um, so let's go 40 by 40 for the the shaft that holds the 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 pole. The handles I get at Menards for like five five or six bucks. They're like mop handles. They're 28 wide. Uh, 40 by 40. And we can actually just Actually, you know what? I want, let's make it about the length that we want it. Um, let's just make it oversized and we'll just cut it off. Wow, that was not the button I wanted to grab. There we go. Okay, let's do this. Let's just make it oversized. And then I don't want water getting directly in the bottom. So let's actually, instead of cutting it all the way through, Let's raise this up a little bit. We'll also make that five thick. So see, the sides of this are going to be really thick. They're five. And I'll print it. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to print them solid. No, solid will be too heavy. Well, I'll decide that later. Maybe it'd be good to have them heavy. Oh, God, I almost forgot to center it. All oh, too much talking, and then I don't center it. There. Now it's centered, so let's go ahead. Actually, I'm not ready to I'm not ready to cut that yet. Uh, can we get a common theme going for the... Wow. This was supposed to stay a hole, though. Uh, let's just use a gray. I don't like all these weird colors. Let's just use a gray for now. Okay, what we're going to do, guys, is let's... Turn this to a hole. We got to hollow this out. So let's duplicate it. And let's hold Alt and Shift and make it smaller so it uniformly shrinks. See? Okay. Okay, so let's make... I want it to be pretty uh, thick on the side. So let's, let's just kind of check it out here because we're going to have to move it out. Oof, this is going to be hard to tell what's going on. Okay. Anyway, um, so we're going to have to raise it up five. One. No, let's do four. Okay. Uh, wow, that actually looks kind of good. Okay, let's make this outside one back into a solid. Like that. Wow, it's really hard. Oh, I think we made the wrong one a solid. Ugh. I'm fumbling. Oops, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We got this, we got this. Okay, all right. On. Oh, now we can see the edge lip here. Okay, that's good. The sides. Wow, actually, that's pretty darn good now the sides are thicker than the bottom I want it really sturdy so you know what we're gonna do oops I keep selecting the wrong one um, let's select this one and smoosh it down a little which means we can raise it up by two Okay. Wow. That's thick on the sides. Okay, let's check it out. Let's make sure it's how we want it. Let's see. Oh yeah, it goes way back. Okay, okay, okay. So let's just let's just go for it. We're gonna group it. Nice. Yeah, that's that looks real sturdy actually. Um and then see so what we're gonna do is this actually two hundred? Two ten by two ten. Wow, this thing looks colossal. Oh, it doesn't look as bad once we get it over here. Okay. Um, we won't quite add this yet, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you the gist of it here. Um, do we have to... Well, I think we could combine this now. Right? Well, we wouldn't have to. 
Okay. So see, this actually, this actually is going to just go right in here. Um, I guess we, yeah, we have to decide if we want it. Hmm. Do we want it inside of this, the basket? So this is going to be a mesh basket. We're going to make a bunch of holes in here. This would give us good leverage. The lower down this is. Yeah, it, it would actually be better to have this kind of in the basket like this than above it because it will have more stability if you're doing like downward pulling, like pushing down to get a scoop. Because see, the handle will come way up like this. So then you just pull it toward you like a like a hoe that has a scooper, you know? So you, you kind of push it down and pull it toward you and it'll get a big scoop of sand and shells and it'll sift out the little stuff in the sand and you can dump it out on the beach and look for the shark teeth. Uh, I like it. I think we can go with that. And let's see. I'm trying to think how we want to cut the bottom off. So I'd rather not have a hole in the bottom. Um, Okay, I got an idea. So let's just combine these. Oh, it's going to... Oh, no, it won't cut through there. Okay, there. And obviously we should probably center this before I forget. This is cool. It's just fun. It's only been 11, 12 minutes. Okay, so we can actually just snip this off and it will be no harm done because we didn't cut we didn't cut through this bottom plate. So let's just snip off this bottom part. Oh, look, there's a teeny bit sticking out. Can you imagine how annoying that would have been? Oh, now I I messed up my own trick here. Okay, there we go. Okay, and... Right, that should snip that off, and yeah, we'll still just have a nice... We won't have a hole there. Oh, no! I, I, I felt like it was getting a little... Whoa! I felt like it was getting a little bit laggy, and I'm like, what's going on there? Muchacho. Okay, I hope it saved some of our stuff. I'll pause you guys. Okay, we're back. We're back. Everything's okay. We didn't lose our progress. Okay, so there we go. See, the bottom doesn't have a hole. So we don't want extra water getting in because we're going to silicone this. Uh, it's just nice if the wood doesn't expand too much because it, it'll try to crack this. Um, we could put some, no, no, no. I was going to say we could put some like slits in here to like let it expand a little, but I don't want a weak spot. So, yeah, I hope the scooper will be big enough. It's, it's 210 by 210. So like, it's like the, it's like the print volume of like a little printer, normal sized. Um... We'll see. I'll just print one up. I'm not going until January 8th. Okay, here we go, guys. We got to get... Um, now we're going to really crash the computer. Let's do a quarter inch. Uh, so how is that? Uh, six. Should we just... Let's make them six, um, six millimeter holes. I want a quarter inch holes because some of the fossil shark teeth are really small. Oh, gosh. We're going to... We're going to crash my computer. Okay, we need to make a lot of holes. You guys ready? Okay, uh, let's... We won't. We don't need to put the holes... Let's... We don't have to put holes right here because we want this to be nice and strong. Um, so let's just start... And we want these sides to be strong so we won't go right next to them. 
Okay, let's just get one ready. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay, here we go. We're going to duplicate like crazy. Okay, let's... I want it to be strong. That's four apart. Well, three apart should be good, though. Uh, all right, here we go. A shark tooth scooper. Is any? Are you guys going to make a shark tooth scooper? But what's cool is by... Uh, you can do a different different scoops. You don't have to do one for shark teeth. or I mean, you can make a seashell scoop, but if you're into metal detecting or you wouldn't believe how many things I use different scoops for. I just like making them for some reason too. We literally had like this uh, chicken coop, like late hen laying box, but you'd have to bend over and reach way back in it to get the eggs. So it was like this wooden thing. And I, I literally designed a scoop uh, called the Egg Buddy. It was a little cool gold scoop, like on a handle, and it would scoop way back in there and grab the eggs. Oh, it was funny. Probably a waste of time. Okay, let's group these together so we can center them. So see if we group all these little ones together, uh, we can center them with this. Because they're a grouped object, you know? And now we can duplicate them backwards, you know, back this way. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh, we're going to have to make sure not to select our, our post. Yeah, we know that. Oops, 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 okay. Okay, that's good. Wow. Um, do we just get that over with? Or do we just get them all ready? No, let's just try it. I want to see how they look. Okay, let's go like this, but deselect this. And combine. And I'll pause you guys. It might take a minute. Wow, I actually only took a couple seconds. Uh, oh, that's cool. Now, oof, I feel like I wanted one more row. Ah, because a, a, a lot of sand is going to get stuck back there. Damn it. I mean, darn it. Okay, let's go like this. There's no easy way to do that, though. Ow. You know what? Get out of my way, sir. Okay, we're going to have to go like this. Oh, yeah, duh. I, I thought these, I forgot these were connected. This is easy. Let's go back in there. Oopsies, come on now. Okay. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, group. Yeah. Oh, duh. Should have grouped everything again. Uh-oh. I saw major problems happening. Oh, my gosh. What did I do? Uh-oh. Okay, is everything okay? I think I accidentally selected that. Man. Okay. I think we're all right. Okay, make sure to not select that. Let's move it up a little bit farther. We can put that, we'll, we'll bring that back down when we're um, ready for it. Okay, here we go. Let's put the holes in. Groupage. Here. Yeah, see, is my computer fast now? Because that was pretty quick. Okay, let's do that again. Um... I mean, should, we could probably cheat. Let's go back. Can't we use that same? Let's try something. Um, duplicate.
You know what I'm saying? Because we got to make holes in the top part, too. Ha-ha! Yeah! Is that... Uh-oh, uh my eye itches. In real life. Wow, yeah, this is going to save us a ton of time. Uh, we just didn't need as quite as many rows, so... Okay, um, let's go ahead and... Let's get rid of a couple rows. Uh, yeah. There we go. The delete button on the keyboard. Why don't I ever use that? I just did three times. Okay. Um, um, we want it kind of strong. Oh, well, I guess. Ah, we can put a support in. Okay, never mind. I'm just talking out loud, which is how people usually talk. Oh, crud. How do I select that now? <laughs> Got to get a little crafty to be able to select it without getting all the rest of these. Okay. Now we can group it. And we will center it now that it's a grouped object. Was it already centered? Ah, didn't even have to group it. Okay, is it a little too... I don't want to make this back too weak. I feel like we should move it a little bit. Uh-oh, not that way. You little dum-dum. I want this back part to be pretty strong. Okay, I think we're good. The sides, you know what? I don't even think we have to do holes in the sides. It'll be a lot stronger. Okay, let's just see what it looks like. Group. Usually, like my metal detecting scoops have... Um, have holes in the side, some of them, I guess. This is a very simple scoop, though. This is actually more simple than my other ones. Um, some of mine have, like, a little foot pedal, like you step on a little foot thing, and it's kind of hard to explain. Um, yeah. Wow, this is pretty easy. Oh, wait a minute. Is it going to print? Oh, um, wait, is it going to print this angle? And these are all overhangs. We should have almost made them diamond shaped. Uh-oh. Uh, is there any other angle we can print it at? Darn. We almost should have had this. These be like diamond shaped, like up and down. Okay, hold on. Pause. Okay, I, I've replaced these back ones with circles instead of uh, squares. So let's hit group and see what that looks like. Um, You know, it, it doesn't, it's not really going to match the bottom holes, but... I'm looking for functionality more in this one. See? Uh-oh. Oh! That back row. Uh-oh, go back. Oh, gosh. This very back row. Oh, my God. Oh, oh I'm so glad they're all as one. It was hitting. There. I'm so glad I grouped them in rows like that, because uh, that's, like, saved me so much time. A few times now. Okay, groupie. 
a Groupon. Oh, okay. Surprisingly, it hasn't been taking as long as I thought it would. There. Um, okay. Yeah, this is actually pretty nice. Um, let's lower our thingy thing down here and see if it's going to need any supports. Let's just kind of visualize. Come on down. Okay, we want it to we want to make sure it's contacting the Oh yeah, it already is. Okay. Um and technically Well, here, let's turn it back into this. Technically, it would be best if we had it. Just so this is not sticking out there. Like that. And it, is it sticking out anywhere? Well, here, let's actually hit D on it. Yeah, see, we might as well have it all the way down. And now let's check the movement again there okay and that's fine like that oh but now the water can get up in there i mean the water's going to get in there anyway um let me just cap this up real quick hold on all right i just uh capped that off with a little disc like a little disc of material. Ooh, you know what I mean. Uh, this is literally the simplest like shape and design I've ever made of a scoop. But you know what? When you want like sturdy functionality, sometimes simple is the way to go. I like the profile. I think the angle's perfect because it's this, whatever this angle is. Is that 45 or 20? 22? Um, I feel like there is a lot of excess plastic on this back little edge. You think we could snip some of this off? It might look a little cooler too. Uh, let's see how much plastic is actually there. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at, if we look at this angle. Well, no, no, we don't want to do that. We could do a little, we could do a little, um, we could do a little snip just for a cosmetic look. So let's go back to this and let's bring in this. You know what I'm saying? How about just like a little, a little snip a rooney like this. I don't even want to take this much off. So let's do, move it out a little bit. Ah, that should be good. Okay, let's snip it. You can always just do little snips like that to kind of make, just make it look a little bit, um, a little bit cooler. There we go. So, yeah, it's got an extra little angle there. That looks nice. We want to leave this sharp because this will be for cutting into the seashells and sand and whatnot. Oh, gosh, is it really this easy? Okay. Oh, man. And I don't think we need holes in the sides. Because it's going to drain quick. All right. I guess it, well, I guess it's been 30 minutes. How does the time go so fast? Okay, let me print one of these out. It won't need supports. Uh, well, I hope not. So let me try one without supports. And I need to print two. Oh. I, I might put some kind of cheesy name on it right here. See this top part? I always put a cheesy name on all my scoops. So like the Sinker Slayer, I have the Swift Sift. Um, yeah, the Egg Buddy, the Tom Tom. I have a bunch of different ones. Um, okay, I'll put a name on there and I'll print it out. And I'll show you the name when, uh, when we reveal the print. Okay, be right back. And... 
Whoa, there we go, guys. Check it out. Dude, do you guys like the color changes? Uh, I, I decided to get rid of some of my rolls of where I have a tiny little bit left on a roll. So there's even like two colors of this. So there's one. I did one, two, three, four, five, six filament changes. But I got rid of four rolls that were almost empty. Look at how clean and just like, I don't know. Just, I like just the simplicity of this design. It's super sturdy. I, I did six wall layers and then 35% infill. So it's really beefy feeling. So, and then um, you probably won't be able to see it, but see, I got these big from Menards. These are like six bucks. Um, they're like a mop handle or they're like a broom handle. Uh, but what I did is I, I wrapped some, I wrapped a little bit electrical tape around here so it would center it and fit good. Um, so let's see, this will go in like this and I will uh, silicone it in. I have a silicone caulking and this is like a five foot or six foot handle. I don't know. Uh, and then look, see, Ooh, I'm going to scoop up shark teeth and seashells out of the surf. You know, it's awesome. Let me pull this back out. And yeah, the reason I have this loose and stuff, I think I already said that in the video is uh, if this soaks up any water, it expands and it can actually crack your plastic. So that's why I am, I wanted this smaller than the, the hole. So uh, if it expands, it'll just compress the uh, silicone and stuff. So it won't crack it. There we go. And I actually printed two of these already because this is my daughter's and I printed a pure white one too. We wanted two of them. So there we go. Kind of a weird item, but I was making it anyway. So I thought I'd better make a video on it. I love it. Okay, make a scoop. Oops, wow, I bumped you guys. Make yourself a scoop and go scoop something. All right, hey, hit the like button to help this channel out and subscribe, of course. Bye, bye, bye.